It's got a great history. It's the second largest parade in Stanford after the Thanksgiving Day Parade. But this parade is different in that it's a real community parade. Green was all around on Saturday as crowds marched from Columbus Park to Bedford Street to celebrate Stanford's 18th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. This year, the parade honored Grand Marshal John Wayne Fox for his contributions to the community. The parade's newest chairman, Michael Fagan, says whether on foot, motorcycle, vehicle, or horseback, it's always a celebration. We've got a lot of community organizations, a lot of the, the Irish step uh, schools, uh, the, the elementary or the public school bands, elementary, middle, high school bands. Not exactly sure who's new, but that's more than we've had in the past. About like the month for St. Patrick's Day, we do a lot of St. Patrick's Day practices and we do a lot of shows and everything as well. So we have a bunch of routines we work on all together. My favorite part's the grandstand because we do this big routine that's a lot of fun. It went great. Beautiful day, beautiful people, good time. It went pretty good because I just had to follow the beat. Yeah. It's an easy job. It's a good day when it starts the uh, the spring season. For the first time, the parade included a trolley for those physically unable to march. Building and Land Technology was kind enough to uh, loan us the uh, trolley that they have uh, so that some of our Hibernians uh, who would love to participate but are unable to actually march uh, are able to participate in the parade. In Stanford, Priscilla Lombardi, it's relevant.com.